Before starting the analysis, place the test tubes containing the R1 reagent into the incubation cells. For ease of use, place the R1 test tubes, taking care to memorize the position of each sample. In this tutorial, we will use the Opticon PX20 barcode QR code reader to store the samples to be analyzed in the food lab. To use the reader, the Bluetooth connection must first be activated on the food lab. First, select the desired test from the menu. Select on the screen the first sample to be read. After that, read the first sample barcode by using the PX20 reader. The first sample code will appear on the screen. At the end of the reading, place the first test tube back in the incubation cell. After that, select, on the screen, the second sample to be read. Read the barcode of the second sample by using the PX20 reader. The second sample code will appear on the screen. Then press Next to start the blank reading. At the end of the reading, place the second test tube back in the incubation cell. Select on the screen the third test tube to be read. Read the barcode of the third sample by using the PX20 reader. The sample code will appear on the screen. Then press Next to start the blank reading. At the end of the reading, place the third test tube back in the incubation cell. Then press Stop to terminate the reading session. Repeat the procedure of withdrawal and release for all samples. Then press Start to start the timer. At the end of three minutes of incubation, press Next. Pull out the first test tube and place it in the reading cell indicated by the blue light. Then press Next to start the photometric reading. At the end of the reading, place the test tube back in the incubation cell. Repeat the procedure for all other remaining samples. At the end of the last reading, the result for the first sample is displayed. And all the session results are printed. You can scroll down on the screen to see all other results of the reading session. Press Home to return to the main menu.